Alright, what's up guys? Uh, sorry I haven't put a video out in a few days. Uh, I've been <clears throat> dealing with some personal stuff that I've got going on. Uh, but, anyways, I uh, left South Carolina a couple hours ago, picked up a load there. I'm in Georgia right now. And I'm headed to the terminal to uh, I should get there sometime tomorrow night. Um, but I'm headed there to get a PM done on my truck and sign another lease as well as get some bumper work done to my truck that I need done. But yeah, so, and I might, well, I'll just go ahead and say it, uh, it's a good possibility, I'm waiting to hear back from a company that I applied with, uh, I might be leaving Trans Am sooner than I thought, and I know that I harp on, you know, not bouncing around from company to company, but you know, I just, an opportunity presented itself and I might take it. I went ahead and applied with them. I'm not going to say what company it is just yet until it uh, is a yes. Once it's a yes, then I'll throw it out there, you know, because they very well could turn me down. Uh, and, you know, I really... I don't really want to sign another lease just to turn around and within the next month, you know, break the lease, put a notice in, and then let Trans Am know that I'm leaving. But at the same time, I don't want to go ahead and quit and then that other company turn me down and then I'm screwed on that end. So I don't want to do that, uh, but it would be a southeast regional gig. I would be out 12 days and home for two, and that process would just repeat itself. I live in Alabama, so I would only be running Florida, Georgia, North and South Carolina, Alabama, obviously, Tennessee, parts of Kentucky. I think the guy said some of Virginia sometimes, uh, and Mississippi, and then occasionally Louisiana. And like I said, be out 12 days, home too. So that would be good. I'm, you know, I've spoke on the fact of before. I'm tired of being out all the time. You know, if I have to, if they turn me down, if I have to do it six more months, I will. I would just be a lot more excited if I could go ahead and move on from here. Because it's hard, man. And then, like, the only problem that I have with Trans Am is, like, the time that I went home for four days, I was out with them for six months, you know, didn't go home at all. Granted, I put in home time before, but I ended up canceling it. So, never went home or anything like that. The one time that I do try to go home, or that I do go home, not try, I did go home, but the one time I went home, like I said, I live in Alabama, central Alabama. Uh, about an hour from Birmingham and the closest that they could get me home well the closest they said they could get me home was like right outside of Knoxville it was like 350 miles that I had to drive home on my fuel again I pay for my own fuel so that they said that was as close as they could get me home um, today is Monday at about 9:45 where I'm at at night 
I was supposed to be to the terminal this morning. I sat in South Carolina, I made my last drop Sunday, which they ended up changing that load that I was on before, had three stops, they ended up changing it to where my last stop was on Sunday morning, when I very well, I could have knocked all those out on Friday, to be honest with you, but they made it Friday, second stop was Saturday, and then my last stop was Sunday. Well, I get done Sunday morning around shit, 8 o'clock, I guess, and then, you know, I sit there all day yesterday, and all day today, and I didn't get to pick my next load up until uh, 7 o'clock, a couple hours, about three hours ago at this point, you know, it, it, it just... When you're needing to be somewhere, they're not really good with getting you loads within a reasonable time of getting you there. And then now that I've got to do, you know, my lease stuff, and then I got to get my truck worked on, well, that's going to kill all this week. The only miles I'm really going to have for this week or the couple hundred that I ran over the weekend. I wish this guy would make up how fucking fast he's gonna go. Either let me pass you. The dude was going slow before, now he wants to speed up. I'll force my way over, whatever. Um, well, I don't even remember what I was saying. Yeah, they just, it's hard for them to get you shit. Oh, so this week I'm only gonna have you know, the few hundred miles I drove since Thursday making those deliveries. And then, let's see, I had like 60 miles empty from where I was at to go pick this load up. And then, I think I'm getting paid just over a thousand, like a thousand thirty miles or something to get this our terminal like it just sucks this is another week that's gonna be shitty and it's not my fault I'll run it's Trans Am's fault for their planners man they're not they do great if you don't need something if you need to be somewhere though don't expect to make miles for that week really it's ridiculous because I'm gonna get there Tuesday night Today's Monday night, yeah, I'll get there sometime tomorrow night, well, early Wednesday morning, probably like 2 or 3 o'clock Wednesday morning, and then I've got to get a PM done on my truck, I absolutely have to, like I'm already, I'm, I'm a good little bit, a few thousand miles over on the PM I need done on my truck, so I've got to get that done, I've got to sign another lease and shit like that and then probably Wednesday afternoon I've got to run my truck down to the body shop and see if they have enough availability to get me in and out that week or if I'm going to be sitting there or if I'm just not going to get it done because if they're not going to be able to get me done and out of there by Friday with the stuff I need done on the bumper and then I got something on my driver's side that I need fixed or replaced rather if they're not going to be able to do it I'm just going to say fuck it and I've needed it done for months now and Trans Am knows this you know granted I haven't asked to come in before but shit when I was at the terminal last what a few weeks ago you know we set this date Monday morning like hey I need to be in Monday because I talked to the guy at the body shop he said my best bet is to bring the truck in Monday morning or Tuesday morning because Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I mean that's the last day of the week, they're off on the weekends. But he said Wednesday and Thursday is when they usually start to get really busy. So my best bet would be Monday or Tuesday. Well, I let Trans Am know that, like hey, talk to the guy, I need to have my truck there Monday morning, Tuesday at the latest. And they were like, all right, well, we can get you in Monday. You can take care of your lease stuff Monday and then take your truck down there Monday afternoon or Tuesday morning. 
well I mean here it is Monday night and I can't you know I'm not gonna be able to get there in a timely manner I'm not gonna be taking my truck to the body shop until you know Wednesday afternoon that's not good you know I could understand if I didn't tell them when I needed to fucking be in there I hate people with trailers if you're gonna haul a trailer learn how to fucking drive um, or U-Hauls, if you're going to rent a U-Haul, that blows my mind, man. People, Anybody can rent a damn U-Haul not knowing how to drive shit. Those are the worst out here on the roads, damn U-Hauls. And then morons like that that were all up in my lane as he was passing me. You know, you got to keep, you got to remember, if you got a trailer with you, you need to remember that you have a freaking trailer. They're bad about cutting you off, too, because they forget they have that extra length on their vehicle, and they don't check their damn mirrors, and they cut you off a lot. But anyways, back to my point, you know, it, it I don't know, man, it just, I'm not shitting on Trans Am, it's not Trans Am as a company, you know, it's, it's the people there, you know, I feel like it's a lack of communication. It's a lack of, you know, they go out of their way for me. I will say they go out of their way for me to get me loads that are good, that are, you know, the most amount of miles and least amount of time, that are the easiest. You know, I, shit, I haven't been. Trans Am knows how Walmart DCs are. You know, plan on sitting there for five, six, seven hours. Uh, I haven't been to Walmart in forever, you know, uh, so I feel like they really are going out of their way to give me the miles and good loads up until it comes to the point when I need to be somewhere, and then it's just a bunch of BS, and I'm really not into that at all, so... I mean, yeah, I'm gonna sign this other lease, but the minute that company calls me back, you know, I'm gonna let Trans Am know I wanna go home. I'm just gonna put in home time. I'm gonna go home for a couple of days, get this truck cleaned out and everything like that, and then when I come back on the road, I'm gonna let them know, hey, this is my two week notice. You know, I didn't wanna do it, but I've got a better opportunity. You know, and then it'll probably be a whole hell of a lot of sitting, them getting me back to the terminal. Or, either that or I feel like they would get me straight back to the terminal without letting me finish two weeks, which, hey, I don't care. I've heard a lot of things, you know, and I'll put videos, I'll, I'll put videos out on it and whatnot in my experience, but I've heard a lot of bad things about you know whenever you put a, a notice in with Trans Am you do a whole hell of a lot of sitting especially being a lease person you do a lot of sitting because guess what you're still making that truck payment until you're officially out of the truck but if they're not giving you the miles because they're being fucking children about the fact that you're wanting to leave and having you sit all the goddamn time you know that, that's bullshit you know, but if I do that, man, and they start having me sit, I'll give them a few days, but if I'm sitting more than I'm running, I'll just tell them straight up, look, I don't care, you know, wherever I'm at, I won't care. I'll be like, look, you know, I've got an empty with me. I'm running to the terminal. I'll go ahead and run the truck to the terminal, turn my shit in. Because I'm not stupid. That's what they're doing. That's exactly why they would I'm not saying they do or they will but I'm saying that's why they would do something like that they're upset that you're leaving so they're gonna have you sit a lot in their truck because you are still having to make that truck payment but you're not getting the miles to make that truck payment so you don't break even 
with your settlements and you end up leaving owing Trans Am money and I'm not going to play that shit. I'd rather leave owing you, you know, 350, 400 bucks for fuel to, you know, deadhead all the way to the terminal to turn it in versus owing you, you know, my truck payment is 675 a week. You know, that's 1350 and, or, yeah, something like that. Close 1400 bucks in two weeks. You know, I'd rather owe a few hundred in fuel and just deadhead all the way there and go ahead and turn that bitch in versus owing you, you know, a thousand plus for truck payments and shit because you had me sitting. So, I don't know. That's what's going on with me right now. I'm headed there. Get this shit taken care of. And, you know, I should hear back from this other company sometime this week, Friday by the latest. Um... And if that works out, then yeah, I'm gonna go home for a few days, get this truck cleaned out, and then I'm gonna, I am gonna put in a two week notice, but if they start acting like children, uh, there's no way I'm fulfilling that notice. I'm gonna go ahead and do my best, unless they tell me I can't. Now, which I don't, I wouldn't see the problem with that, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm paying for my fuel either way. Now, if I tell them that I'll just come straight there and they say, no, I can't do that, then I'll know something's fishy and they're trying to get truck payments out of me. But it is what it is. If everything would have been perfect, I would have known back from this company before today. Uh, and then that way, like I said, I was in South Carolina. I could have told them then, hey, I need to get home, clean this truck out, and then you guys need to get me a load to the terminal because I'm done. I'm not signing another lease. That would have been ideal if I was if I didn't have to sign another lease, but shit happens. It is what it is. You know, I'm not too worried about it. Uh like I said, man, if this company, if this other company says no go, I'll probably just suck it up and finish six months. And then I'll have a year. Because this other company, too, is telling me, because my time with CRST is not verifiable, which I already knew that. I broke my contract there. They're not going to verify shit. I already knew they were going to do that. But because I only have six months verifiable with Trans Am, I might have to go back out with a trainer. God told me it'd probably only be like a week, maybe two, but I'll have to go back out with a trainer. You know, it is what it is. They pay, they pay a flat rate while you're out training, uh, which the flat rate is what I'm making here most weeks at Trans Am. So, shit just training with that other company i'm making what i make here at trans am busting my ass so we'll see how it goes i'll keep you guys updated uh any of you guys up in the northeastern region you guys got a shit ton of snow coming in i saw pennsylvania was closing down most of their interstates to tractor trailers and motorcycles and uh, which if you're driving and shit like that on a motorcycle you're a numb nuts anyways but yeah a lot of that uh, roadway up in the northeastern region is uh, closed off to tractor trailers starting tonight it's supposed to be bad tonight early in the morning so if you guys are up there whatever stay safe it's raining down here I'm hoping which I know I looked at Atlanta weather earlier I'll go through Atlanta here probably in the next half hour or so it's not getting cold enough there tonight to for anything to freeze up but I don't know what it's gonna be doing head up to high 70 so I don't know what it's gonna be doing on 70 
across like Missouri and all that shit so hopefully it doesn't get too bad I don't even know if it's been raining up there I know it's raining down here so um, yeah you gotta stay safe I'll keep you updated hope everybody is enjoying themselves you guys have a great night